Welcome back and thank you for watching Toledo's original 9 a.m. show. Good day. It's Wednesday, so it's knit along. That's right. We love showing off your knitted and crocheted projects like this one from Bridget Clay. She said it was a fun crochet project that took her 10 hours over four days. Now watch this. Watch what happens. You gotta wait for the, the, the picture to change. Okay. Oh, it's a dog. Yes, yeah, she made like a balloon <laughs> dog. It's That's like a really balloon cool. animal. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's great. Awesome, Bridget. Mm -hmm. Love to see this project. It took her, like she said, 10 hours over four days. That would have taken me a year. <laughs> and really, 10 <laughs> hours over four days isn't a long time. So, yeah, she yeah, did a really good she job. She did a really good that. job. Mm -hmm. And I love that because we were just talking yesterday with my daughter who wants to go to International Fest this weekend. And last year, we remembered how she got a balloon animal and she dropped it on the ground and it, and it popped. Yes. I guess I need to make her one of these. It'll never It'll pop. Never she'll pop. have it. She'll have it forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stephen, you've probably heard of a beer or a wine tasting, right? Mm -hmm. What about a yarn tasting? Have you heard about one of those? Yarn tasting? Yeah, it's a thing. No. It makes for a great night out for knitters and crocheters. And I talked with a couple <laughs> local business owners who have your invitation. From, from our front door, we can see their front door. And from their front door, they can see ours. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... Spit and distance. Yeah. That proximity is exactly why two downtown Milan, Michigan business owners decided to team up for a fall yarn tasting. The Owl Morning Till Night is hosting Plum Tree Yarn Shop for the event, which starts with happy hour, followed by a tasting menu, which includes a yarn kit from Barocco and drinks from the bar. A pattern to make a cowl, and we have both a knit and a crochet version. During this event, we're going to basically do um, a harvest of drinks. And so we're going to feature um, a coffee style drink um, that we're calling the Headless Horseman, um, which uses a, a house made cinnamon bark syrup, um, dark chocolate, shots of espresso, milk, and we're doing a sample size for everyone that's going to be a part of it. And then we're going to bust out a bunch of our um, brand new, I mean, literally, we're going to add them to the menu a couple of days before um, our harvest menu. Um, of cocktails. There will be door prizes, snacks, special deals on yarn, and an after party at Plum Tree Yarn Shop to continue the fun. The pair held a similar event in the spring, which was wildly successful. Um, it almost immediately sold out. People did not want to leave. It was so, so fun. So the event is Saturday, October 14th from 3 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $55, and they went really fast for that spring yarn tasting. So get yours now on PlumTreeYarnShop.com. And it was just great talking to them because they're super passionate. Uh, the owner there of Owl Morning Till Night uh, is super passionate about all the ingredients mm -hmm. that are in the cocktails and in the drinks. So, yeah. you know, locally local stuff and, and different things. So you're going to get a story uh -huh. as you taste your drinks, and then you have the yarn, little bits of yarn uh, to test out and work with as well. So yeah, it sounds like a good, cool combination yes. to, to get things done. So. Great matchup. Yep. Well, show us your projects, whether they are finished or not. You could send us photos of what you're working on. You can post them to my Facebook page, Amanda Fay Anchor Reporter. Make sure to include your name, where you're from, any other details about your project that you would like to share. When we come back, we'll hear Stephen from another era. Okay. You ready? Yep. Half of my life. Half of your life. Yeah. Half of your life. <laughs> I like that, Matt. We'll be right back.